Google makes your smartphone smarter, an electric nose to prevent food poisoning, and Adidas wants to turn your selfies into shoes. I'm John P, and I'd like to apologize for the fact that you don't get Cali today and you're stuck with me. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by QNAP, network storage made awesome. Before we get into the news, yesterday Callie told you about our new plaque wall. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Our wall of plaque? Sounds like we need a dentist. Anyway, those artistic things we're going to hang in the new building with your name on them. And I just wanted to thank John Rush, David Wright, and Rodrigo Salas for being the first three to tag our wall. Thanks guys. We'll plaster your names up there for all eternity. And if anyone has a better name than the plaque wall, Please tweet them at me. Lord knows we need it. Now, onto the news. Lots of cool stuff on the photography front today. Let's start with Adidas, who plans to roll out a photo print app that will allow you to map your favorite photo onto a pair of ZX Flux speakers. Sneakers, sneakers not speakers. Which they will custom make for you and ship by mail. How else would you ship them, Dave? No price yet, but Adidas says to expect them this August, maybe I can get a picture of my feet printed on the shoes. That would be awesome. We've all heard that dead tree newspapers are dying dinosaurs, but New York Times photographer Josh Hanner, Josh Hanner, that name wasn't that hard. That's not like John Posazidis. Josh Hanner didn't get the memo when he found himself up against TV crews with cell phone backpacks that allowed them to stream video from breaking news events, he MacGyvered his own streaming backpack and fanny pack that uses a Linux computer to break down the images inside his camera and automatically transmit them to his photo editor through four cellular modems over different cellular networks. He's still tinkering with the prototypes, but we're betting we see a prosumer version at an upcoming CEA or one of those other major shows. We'll keep you posted. Thanks to modern technology, our DSLRs have light meters baked into the hardware and firmware, but a Kickstarter project called Luxy for All hopes to change that. Basically, you pop a light diffusion dome onto your smartphone, fire up their app, and voila! Old school handheld light meter, which is more accurate than the internal light meter in most cameras. Luxie for All is two thirds funded with about two months to go and will retail for around 30 bucks. Speaking of photos, as an avid photographer myself and as a business that generates videos by the terabyte, I can't even sleep at night unless I know my little babies are safe and sound. And if you're like me, that's why you need a QNAP. Yeah. QNAP makes a wide range of network storage devices that let you store all of your most important files across a highly redundant and super fast array of hard drives. They make QNAPs that hold just a pair of drives, like the ultra silent HS210s. They make four drive units like the TS470. Heck, they even make giant rack mount units like the REXP-1600U-RP. That's 50 pounds of awesome right there. So if you've got anything digital that's of real importance to you, head over to QNAP.com and pick one out. And then visit geekbeat.tv forward slash QNAP tutorials to learn how to use it. Speaking of crowdfunding, the Indiegogo community has fully funded what is being called the world's first portable electronic nose, a handheld gadget called Perez, which sniffs your food to make sure it's safe to eat. <laughs> The device has four types of sensors. I don't know why I find that funny, but I do. <laughs> Temperature, humidity, ammonia, and volatile organic compound sensors. Push a button and the handheld unit sniffs the air around your food, then transmits its data by Bluetooth to your smartphone or tablet, where its app adjusts for temperature and humidity, crunches all the data, and then tells you how safe or dangerous the food item is. I think it'd be funny to just take that and point it at people to see what. Yeah, <laughs> you're out of date, John. I mean, you know, you, I, who knows what you would experience. The app allows you to share your data, presumably to warn others at the Geek Beat picnic to avoid the mayonnaise salad and recommend the bacon-infused martinis instead. 
Look, Ma, no food poisoning. As we said, Perez is fully funded, but if you want it to be an early adopter, you can still score two of the first units and make a $20 donation to World Hunger Charity for 220 bucks. They're sold out of the $89 units, but guess what? I got one of the beta test units coming my way. <laughs> Wonder if it'll have allergy problems. <laughs> Probably, with my <laughs> luck. <laughs> Finally, who else but Google would try and turn an algorithm into your personal photo editor slash organizer? It's called Stories, a new feature within Google Plus that analyzes the location metadata attached to your photo files and whatever other info you've allowed them to collect in order to organize the photos you've stored into their cloud in photo albums. Stories is essentially in pre-beta right now and it will soon roll out to Android users with an iOS version to follow. I like how Android gets it before iOS in this case. It basically combines Google's auto awesome photo enhancement algorithm with maps to work its magic. We've not yet been given a sneak peek, hint, hint, but as soon as we do, we'll let you know what we think of this new photo feature. Got any photo tips or news to share with your fellow photo geeks? Drop by our chat room at geekbeat.tv or our Google Plus Geeks community and join in the conversation. I'm John P. What would MacGyver do? Mm -hmm.